Broker sold me this CDS. Oh, and Oh, on the The social constructs of economics are uncertain, complicated, commonplace, awful, invisible, and inextricably linked to the welfare of human life. The social constructs of the ocean are commonplace, awful, uncertain, complicated, invisible, and inextricable from the survival of human life. How can we understand the ocean as it is as our social construct and understand that separate from the ocean as it is in its full thingness as the full tide-beating heart of life? And also our own tide-beating human hearts understand them as things separate from economics, as things of the ocean, leaving traces in the deepest unreachable depths and ocean depths as prosperity and prosperity as separate from economics. How can I shape the story of this question? What if the story's setting were the ocean and ocean critters the players and the gently awful stirrings in the sweet mystery of the sea, the very reef of the relationship of each element of our action to the whole? That is marine life dramaturgy. That is, coral reefs as securities, and tide pools as housing, and deep sea pinnacles as mortgage lenders, and jellyfish as mortgage securitizers, and kelp forests as investment banks, and the nitrogen cycle as the shadow banking system, and the thermohaline circulation as the U.S. stock market, and underwater rivers as Fannie and Freddie, and eels as Congress, and grouper as subprime loans, and the housing bubble as a deep sea vent and krill as the Federal Reserve, and tuna as predatory lenders, and blue whales, dolphins, salmon, stingray, albatross, hammerhead, shearwater, tuna, skate, swordfish, in collapse, 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 too big to fail, 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 too big to fail. Too big to fail. Too big to fail.